Hoorah! Listen up, people. Honor, courage, commitment. These are time-honored Marine Corps values that are hard to teach. The Young Marines Youth Organization strengthens the lives of young Americans, men and women. Check it out. Magnificent facility, isn't it? I would like to welcome you to the National Museum of the Marine Corps and to the second edition of this Young Marine video presentation. My name is Mike Kessler, and I'm the National Executive Director of the Young Marines of the Marine Corps League. The Marine Corps values of honor, courage, and commitment are enshrined here. Those very same values that we share and instill in our young people who proudly wear the Young Marines uniform. Add to that our own values of leadership, teamwork, and discipline, and a focus on our centerpiece of maintaining a healthy, drug-free lifestyle, and you have a combination that is worthy of the name Young Marine. Our objective is simple, working with America's youth to help shape our future by instilling self-esteem and confidence to those who will lead us in the generations that follow. As you will soon see, the Young Marine family is one built on structure and discipline with a healthy dose of fun thrown in for good measure. We aren't trying to make or recruit future Marines, but we feel strongly that the time-tested values of America's core of Marines are values worth emulating. And once again, to assist me in telling the Young Marine story is our very own mascot, Young Marine TFC Chester. Yes, we promoted him. We figured after five years as a private, well, that was long enough. You better get ready, Chester. Let's go. Yes, sir. Before I joined the Young Marines, I was a little too headstrong, and the Young Marines has helped to, to humble me a little bit more. It builds your self-confidence, and it shows you you are somebody. You can do something in the world with your life. I really think it's a great organization. Since we've joined Young Marines, he's very polite, not only to me, but to every adult that he meets. His grades, he's on the honor roll. Personally, it's given me a lot more confidence in myself and knowing what I can do and when there's something I can't do. It's taught me how to set myself up to where I can achieve that goal or find another way to get there. I think about that scared little kid the first time I went into boot camp when I wasn't even five foot tall. <laughs> Just think of how fast it all went by and how I wish I could do it all over again. Our core values of leadership, teamwork, and discipline are the values we live each day, whether engaged in a young marine activity or not. As far as leadership, discipline, and teamwork go, I mean, before I joined the young marines, I couldn't even tell you what those meant at all. I mean, the young marines have pretty much instilled those into my brain. It's pretty much how I live my life. Teamwork to me is no matter who you're put in a team with, you need to learn how to all can join together and do the job that's set ahead of you. It's working with other people around you to achieve a collective goal and not just worrying about yourself. Everything is a group effort. Your life is a group effort. You didn't get to where you are because it's just you. Other people helped you along. Since I joined the Young Marines, I have always wanted to take on leadership roles. Through leadership, I have been able to become a leader in my school. I am a district lieutenant governor for a community service organization. Leadership, learn how to be able to teach your young Marines, that's another key aspect because you're teaching young Marines because one day you're not going to be there. And one day young Marines are going to step up in your footsteps. I have so much to offer to my classmates and to my teachers and to the people around me. To be a young Marine, it means to be a leader. Oh, discipline. <laughs> I definitely needed discipline when I was younger and since young Marines I'm more respectful. I, I get my work done. Discipline will help you in your in everyday life. If you work, you got to get up to go to work. Have the discipline to get up at 5 o'clock. You have to be in work at 6. 
make you an all-around better person, more mature, respectful, be a better example for adults, kids your age, and kids that aren't your age. I've applied leadership, teamwork, and discipline throughout my whole entire eight years of Young Marines. We are proud of being a recognized leader in youth drug demand reduction education. Teaching our young Marines to maintain a healthy, drug-free lifestyle is the cornerstone of our organization. The Young Marines is actually the forefront youth education program for drug demand reduction in the United States. Curriculum basically teaches knowledge to where you can recognize situations where drugs might be involved and helps you to avoid any kind of situations that would involve you come in contact with it or using it. We have an instructor that comes in and tells them about the different drugs and the, how they're harmful and what can happen with them. And I think it's really an eye-opener for them. We do skits, we do drug skits like to show our young Marines to say no to negative peer pressure, to help them to overcome that. Everyone to get to a certain rank, they have to write a speech about why they think drugs are bad. It shows us what the drugs will do to us if we take it, and I think it's really helped some kids. Most people think, hey, I look cool like this. You don't, because it just ruins your life. Most people know this, but they think, oh, maybe just one try. It's, it's just stupid. It definitely helps to reinforce programs such as theirs that they have in school. Because, of course, parents never saying they talk to kids, but usually it's not enough. Most kids, they tend to look to their friends, but if you have friends that are positive influences in the program, then collectively you can work together and say, that's not what I want to do. I have heard other young Marines talk to other students who are not young Marines about the, the harmful effects of drugs just from going through that training. Drug demand reduction is something important because it's something that will affect the rest of the life of teens. If you begin as a teenager, it will affect the rest of your career. Your, your, your entire life is affected by the drugs. And the young Marines try to use this, this very important part of your life to make sure that you don't get into situations like those. Community service. Our young Marines spend literally thousands of hours in their local communities on a host of projects ranging from color guards to Operation DVD to honoring our nation's military veterans. We do a lot of community service through Salvation Army and Hunger Task Force. We do road cleanup. We help out with special events, providing color guards, providing extra hands, passing out things, setting up. Basically, we're kind of behind the scenes work usually. We help clean up the Quantico National Cemetery. During the holidays, we collect toys for needy children, the Toys of Top program, and work in conjunction with our local reserve center. I think it means a lot because you get to help the community and the expression on people's faces when you do something like rake their yard of leaves and help the community out, and it, it's just a joy. We write letters to veterans in the veterans' hospitals who don't have family members to visit them, and we go and visit them a lot and hear their stories and talk to them and keep them company. The veterans really appreciate it. Um, they love telling them stories. They love talking with them. And the kids get to, get to see a part of living history. I always tell them that you're talking to living history. You can't really get the real story of what happened from a history book in school. And to hear it from a veteran who's there, who remembers it like it was yesterday, is a real story on how you can actually understand what veterans really did for the freedom we have in this country. They always have amazing stories. Veterans always do. <laughs> amazing, fun stories, and a lot to learn from. We gave them flags and cards and thank them for what they did for our country. Some of them started crying because we appreciate them for what they did. Oh, to some time I have our spare time. I spend some time with them. A lot of times the veterans, they don't get to see family or friends that often. And makes you feel good knowing that you're helping somebody. Our volunteers are the heart and soul of the organization. Their leadership makes us who we are, and without them, we could not exist. The greatest reward for volunteering is watching these kids grow up, making a difference in the, the lives of our youth. My daughter's a member of the Young Marines, and it's one of the reasons that uh, I kind of got involved in this. An involved parent is what I always have longed to be. I figure if I'm involved, I'm going to be informed. I feel a sense of pride because I'm actually giving back to the young people. I think that they need a positive role models nowadays with everything that's going on around us. These volunteers, the directors, 
are doing something right for these kids. I would tell parents, do it. You'll have fun doing it. You can't put a price on it. It's not a tangible thing. The rewards are so great. Um, and you will literally change a child's life just by being there and, and mentoring. You get to see kids that grow up from nine and all the way until they graduate from high school at 18. So I've been there and I've seen that. And the neat thing is to be able to watch them grow in the program as they're growing in their life. And I think the satisfaction I get is when you see a kid get it. From the level from a recruit all the way up to an advanced leader, something clicks, they suddenly mature, there's something that they never knew before and they suddenly get it. And it opens a whole new world for them. If you ask a young Marine what they like most about the program, you'll be sure to hear how much fun they have. We work hard to make sure that everyone understands that fun is a major part of our activities. Two years ago, I stood on Arlington Bridge and held the flags for Rolling Thunder, and that was a lot of chaos, but a lot of fun. Well, I went to the White House. We did a color guard for the First Lady, and afterwards we got to go to the reception party at the White House. We got to meet all these people. We got to walk around the White House. It was really amazing. It was a lot of fun. The, the Young Marines help the community. We do a lot of fun events. It's great. We go out for a week and go camping and doing military things. We went swimming. Gosh, we've done so much. Well, we get to do PT, we go on field trips sometimes, we do encampments. It's really, really fun. This past summer, I went to Huntsville, Alabama for an uh, aviation challenge, and that was a blast. Most of my friends don't even go out to outside the state of Pennsylvania, and I've gone to California, North Carolina, Ohio. The main thing is just having fun, just being there, hearing the other young Marine on to his and her her level of participation. It's just, just being out there and just being a part of the group. It's a lot of fun. It's just like the Boy Scouts, except better. Wow, they actually have a program like this? I definitely want to join.